Hi, my name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My main thing is helping you as a side hustler, a solopreneur, or otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. Today we're going to talk about Kevin Hart and how he actually took off his big career as one of the highest paid comedians, I think the highest paid comedian in the world, when his stuff started getting bootleg. So quick backstory. Many years ago, I want to say about 10, 15 years ago, uh, Kevin Hart was on the stand-up uh, comic circuit. He was trying to get gain ground with the different arenas, or not even arenas, just the clubs. I actually used to go out with a comedian, so I understand that. I understand that rigor. So he was just out there grinding it out. And he actually got a role in a movie called Soul Plane, which was an independent movie geared towards African-American audiences. It became a cult classic. The challenge though, was that it got bootlegged like crazy. It got bootlegged so bad that Kevin Hart was talking to Oprah Winfrey and explaining how frustrating it was for him to, he was actually at the airport waiting in line to get on the plane. And someone came up and said, hey, can you autograph this DVD of yours? And he was like, I'm not in any movies yet. And it was a bootleg version of Soul Plane. <laughs> He got so upset, according to what he said. But as soon as that bootleg really started to take off, that's when his career took off. And again, he's, I believe, the number one paid comedian in the world now, making hundreds of millions of dollars. So there's a huge lesson here. In fact, there's two of them. Love to break it down. The first lesson is that you have to make yourself available to the people that you want to serve. Your community, your tribe, as Seth Godin might say. I'll give you a quick example of that. If you want to understand my work, then you can, you're probably listening or watching this right now, probably for free. I have a column at Ink Magazine at inkdamonbrown.com that you can read for free or at very low cost at this point. My newsletter that I do at joindamon.me or you can get connected to it through my buildfromnowquiz.com based on my new book, Build From Now. Both of those at the moment are free. But then you could also pay 15, 20, 25 dollars for one of my books, one of many, like Build From Now. Or you can go to my boot camp at paylancing.teachable.com and take my boot camp for a few hundred dollars and do it at your own pace. Or if you really want to invest, then you can go and uh, connect with me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, or you can have me come and do a keynote for several thousand dollars at your event, right? But there are multiple tiers of that. There's different ways that you can access me. Kevin realized that people were understanding his company. They were starting to get him because they could access him at different levels. Whomever you're trying to serve, um, and I happen to focus on non-traditional entrepreneurs, so the people that I work with, they're all over the place. There could be someone that's in the inner city who does not have a whole lot of resources and they could really use my support and I wanna support them. Or it could be someone who, like myself, is an experienced startup entrepreneur and they're moving on to the next gig and they actually have money from their acquisition or from the consulting they do and actually can pay me a high amount, something that's a little bit closer to what I'm traditionally worth. If you have a diverse amount of people that you wanna support, which often if we're trying to nourish the world, as I say in Built From Now, then we're trying to support a very uh, varied, a wide spectrum of people, a very, very big spectrum of people, then you have to make yourself accessible in different ways. Now, it doesn't mean that you do stuff for free or that you do things for exposure and so forth, but it does mean that there's a power in making yourself available to different people. Because when you do that, then you better understand your audience, you better understand how you can serve them, and then overall you're able to perhaps charge a premium for the work or the products or the services that you do because you're such a well-known quantity. I've done four TED Talks. TED doesn't pay people. So I'm on the same stage as Al Gore and Bill Gates and Bono. None of us are getting paid, right? If you're lucky, they'll take care of the hotel and they might take care of your flight. So I've done four of them. I've never been paid ever, and neither has anyone else. But the amount of exposure, the amount of reach, the amount of opportunities that are open because of that is very similar to, to Kevin Hart's bootleg experience, right? So, but at least I was going on that wide, my eyes wide open. For Kevin, he luckily learned that early. And again, he was able to leverage that and become the highly paid, well sought after, uh, sought after uh, comedian that he is today. So number one, 
you want to make sure that you make yourself available to the people that you want to serve. And that might be multiple tiers. So that doesn't mean you're happy when someone bootlegs your stuff, but it does mean that you can embrace that and even set it up in a way so that people can access you. Again, you might be listening or watching this through YouTube or your favorite channel. That's probably for free for you at this point, right? Or you can buy one of my books or you can have me come speak at your event. There's a wide range of things. I'm serving you in different ways. And I'm actually getting paid in different ways, even though it's for you. So number one, make sure you're available to your audience. Number two, have to get yourself as a known quantity. So you have to make sure that you're actually known. Pe people don't know who you are. And so there has to be some type of venue for them to know you. And that venue might end up being a freeway. It might be something where it's a bootleg. It might be in my case, like a TED talk. Frankly, it doesn't matter. But the people you serve, they're not gonna invest in you until they get to know you. Back to Seth Godin, I learned through him a great quote from Kevin Kelly. And he said, the issue with the internet isn't worrying about people paying for what you're serving, right? Your product, your service. People worry about people being worried about uh, you know, getting stuff for free on the internet. They're not gonna pay for anything. No, no, no. What Kevin Kelly said, according to Seth Godin, is that your biggest enemy is obscurity. People not know, even knowing who you are. And if people don't know who you are, they're not gonna invest in you. Again, I just came out with a new book called Built From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. Y'all are buying it, which I appreciate. But that level of trust, that level of you knowing what you're gonna get with my book, it's my 25th book. So a lot of y'all have actually bought my books previously, which I appreciate. A lot of y'all have seen my TED Talks and went to buy my books. A lot of you have seen um, or read my ink column at inkdamonbrown.com. I have 600 columns as we speak. You've read one of those columns and you're like, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with Damon. I will invest in this. Whether, or whether it's investing time, like you listening or watching this right now, or you investing your other resource, such as money, and actually buying one of my new books. But if you didn't know who I was from those different venues that might not have paid directly, then you wouldn't trust me enough to do that. And again, how are you gonna invest in someone if you don't know who they are? And that's why that name recognition and that clout, that connection, that what we call social capital, that's why it matters so much. That's why you need to build that. That gets built up by building trust over time. And that that's, gets built up by being consistent. I've talked about that in many of my keynotes. There's one keynote in particular um, called uh, Bring Your Worth or How to Create Your Worth, which ended up being the genesis of my book, Bring Your Worth, the predecessor to Build From Now, where I talk about that quite a bit. Building things in a consistent way and creating your tribe, that's the best way to make an impact in the world. There is no quick way to that. There's no way that, for instance, Kevin Hart can just say, you know, come pay $200 to come see me at the Los Angeles Forum this weekend when you've never heard a joke of his, right? And that influence might be through social media, which a lot of people are doing, but I think there's some issues with that. So social media might not be the best way because you don't control the medium. But if you're able to do something like a TED Talk, if you're able to deliver it like you do every Wednesday at 5.55 a.m., someone, someone and quite a few of y'all are getting a newsletter that I send every Wednesday without fail for years. That's too free for you, right? But that means that over time, you've got to know my language. There's people that could read my ink column, people who could read my book. In fact, that happened recently. They could read my book, read my ink column, listen to this program, and then know exactly how I coach. And so they're like, I need a coach like that. Let me talk to Damon. But if that trust wasn't built over time with the 100 or so episodes I've done of this, with the 25 books that I've done, with the 600 incomes and so on, that trust wouldn't be built. And the consistency comes from showing up even when people are bootlegging your stuff. Some big lessons there. If you want more insight into how you can bring your worth and how you can really build from now, come over to Bring Your Worth Build from now. I can't even get it right. Buildfromnowquiz.com. Buildfromnowquiz.com. <laughs> Trust me, I do know the name of my book. It's based on my new book, Build From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. It goes over the four resources that we all have, focus, agility, time, and energy. You can see it on my t-shirt, which is available at damonbrown.net if you'd like to grab one. But come over to buildfromnowquiz.com and you'll be able to learn it. It's like two minutes 
multiple choice questions. We're approaching it like a thousand of y'all that have taken it. So I'm so glad that I'm able to support you on this level. Again, it's free. You can learn a little bit more about the book. If you're digging this program, be sure to like, comment, uh, share, and most importantly, subscribe because it lets me know that I'm hitting the right subjects. And definitely let me know if there's stuff that you want me to tackle and things that you want me to share from my experiences as an entrepreneur and so on. And remember that you can always bring your worth and that you can always build from now. Take care.